Thank you for coming to our event so early in the morning. We'd like to continue with the third round of Fortune China Innovation Award competition. And the third round is the last round. And Song Chun, Dennis Song, Xu Shi, and Zhou Wei, please welcome our judges. Please take your seats. Now we will meet each of the three finalists in this round of competition. The first, please welcome Li Zhang, COO of WeRide. Let's welcome. Now it begins. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, good morning. It gives me greater pleasure to introduce my company, WeRide, established in 2014 in Silicon Valley for autonomous driving. Now we are a leading Air Force class uh, autonomous driving company. At the same time, we are also a smart mobility company. Our vision is that we change uh, mobility with our technology. It is our hope that uh, autonomous driving technology will uh, help us overcome various uh, difficulties in uh, traveling. So, for example, traffic accidents, we want to improve uh, safety. At the same time, we uh, focus on the uh, trillion dollar mobility market in the future. China and the United States are two leading countries on mobility. And uh, in the United States, uh, you have a number of leading uh, companies like uh, Cruise, like uh, Waymo, like uh, Uber, and uh, in the uh, in China we have uh, WeRide, Baidu, and uh, Didi, and we also hope that we will have a more reasonably uh, priced uh, mobility companies uh, in the future. So in the past two years, we have uh, received the support from our investors. We have. Um, uh, received, uh, we are the first to receive uh, the investment from Autonomous uh, Alliance, from Renault, Mitsubishi, and uh, Nissan. At the same time, we have also received the investment from tech companies as well as other investors. So far, we are the first uh, in China. That's why the investors uh, put so much hope upon us. Now. We have rapid uh, research and development process. We have a uh, pilot testing uh, in a tunnel under the river, and we also have a safe uh, driving under the uh, in storm. In October 2018, we introduced the first Air Force class autonomous uh, driving taxi, uh, which uh, is compliant with uh, regulations. And uh, in June 2019, uh, in, in, October, in August 2019, we established the first uh, autonomous driving taxi company. And uh, we have made progress in four areas. First, uh, in technology, we introduced uh, a product level algorithm for our uh, uh, solutions. So with one general algorithm, we have uh, accumulated, uh, we have tested about uh, uh, nearly one million kilometers. So the safety of our products has been proven. At the same time, we are also have a multi-sensor integrated uh, solution. Uh, with uh, 5G technology, we have real-time uh, uh, synchronization as well as uh, comprehensive coverage cross uh, verification of the sensors as well as our front uh, LADAR. So a fleet of taxi uh, has been launched. In terms of business model, we have established the first uh, robot taxi joint venture in China so that we have a complete industrial chain from manufacturing to the services. We have about over 300 staff. One third of them are in Silicon Valley. Uh, many of them have uh, distinguished uh, graduates from top universities. So we are going to have the commercial uh, pilot test in 2020 in Guangzhou. Thank you. 
Thank you, Mr. Li Zhang, for your presentation. Uh, Mr. Song, Dennis Song. So I'm quite familiar with We Ride because in the past few years, We Ride is a leading uh, company in China on, on autonomous driving industry. And I'm thinking about one question. I'd like to raise this question uh, with you. The biggest uh, value of uh, autonomous driving is to a uh, replacement of human beings. So in uh, many areas and fields, actually autonomous driving performs better than human drivers. In autonomous driving, uh, it uh, seems that uh, uh, it is quite easy for human to d drive a car, but take a machine, for example. Uh, for example, Google. Google uh, has uh, spent uh, ha hundreds of uh, millions uh, and even more billions of dollars. Uh, and uh, But uh, the test driving so far is still limited to one state or another. In many uh, structured roads, actually autonomous driving is quite easy. However, in unstructured roads, uh, there are a lot of technical challenges. That's why in early 2018, uh, we relocated our headquarters from Silicon Valley to China, and uh, we believe that a pilot testing in the United States for one year could be completed uh, within one year, for example, in China. So we hope that our theory could be applied into practice. So we have uh, invested a lot. We have invited a lot of experts uh, to work for us. And I think in the future, you can see our pilot um, performance, pilot operation in Guangzhou for autonomous driving. Autom autonomous driving is developing faster than we imagine. So Madam Xu, I know something about uh, we ride, and uh, so I have a partner which also works in the automobile industry. For L4 class or L5 class, uh, maybe it will be applied after 2030. So there's still uh, 10 years to go. And uh, uh, what kind of progress that you would like to make in the next uh, 10 years? And uh, now you have some pilot testing on the road. And uh, what about your business plan in the next decade? 2030 actually is the target year for many uh, for major automobile manufacturers. But for tech company or startup business like us, we believe that it will arrive earlier than 2030. So many. Uh, Waymo is a role model for many uh, companies. Now they have autonomous driving uh, taxi in the state of Phoenix, a kind of commercial rollout. So we believe that in the near future, uh, these robot taxi and other companies will emerge to uh, develop autonomous driving technology at the same time present a good case for it uh, in the near future. So in October 2019, we established the robot taxi with um, a number of local partners, so that we have the uh, we can lend the operation of uh, autonomous driving. Kai Fu Li said that we are Waymo of China, and we also strive to be that. Thank you. I have a dream. And uh, three years ago, I said on various platforms uh, and the occasions that autonomous driving in three years will have uh, in a uh, 100 percent autonomous driving in a limited scope of space. But it uh, has not come true after three years. China has a few uh, advantages, for example, administrative resources. For example, uh, uh, we may we may know that uh, within the, the signal ring road of Beijing, maybe uh, no vehicles will be allowed other than autonomous driving. So with uh, administrative intervention, it is possible to improve the uh, driving uh, experience, the driving environment. And uh, second, China is capable of commercializing some technologies before they become mature. 
So I think that your pilot testing in Guangzhou is、uh, quite encouraging. My question for you is that: Is、uh, is there any、uh, alliance among、uh, your tech companies like you in order to bargain with the municipal government and have complete autonomous driving in Guangzhou? Thank you very much for your question. For autonomous driving,、uh, and we need to make a breakthrough in four areas:、uh, te 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 technology, establishment of taxi fleets, testing of the business model, and、uh, compliance with law and regulation. So the fourth point is not something can be changed by a private company. And、uh, but nevertheless, in the past、uh, few years. And now we are committed to autonomous driving in a limited、uh, scope of space, and we are going to get the approval of the authorities. With、uh, pending the amendment uh, to the uh, traffic uh, law, uh, we still need some legal、uh, support for for that. I expect that、uh, the true autonomous driving、uh, autonomous driving will come true in the near future. I believe autonomous driving mobility、uh, in such cars. We have uh, uh, safety personnel, and、uh, we have been working with、uh, many authorities、uh, in China. So when conditions、uh, are possible, they also uh, open uh, up with、uh, with us for the to to share data with us. So I think in the future you will、uh, see true autonomous driving uh, in uh, uh, China soon. So our judges and uh, um, do you have any further questions? So th thank you, Li Zhang, COO of WeRide. The second, please welcome Yang Guang, partner of WaterDrop Inc. I'm from WaterDrop. We are an insurance technology company driven by、uh, science and、uh, technology. So, in the future, we want to establish a comprehensive and supplementary medical、uh, service payment system. And、uh, and for we have uh, three uh, three units. The first one is about a pool of our customers, which、uh, stands at 280 million people, and、uh, and the、uh, every the monthly donation is about 1.2 billion yuan, and、uh, the number of donors each year, each month reached、uh, about 30 million and more, and、uh, water drop. Can also provide、uh, mutual assistance and、uh, commercialization of their、uh, of of their policies. So we can we、uh, driven by social media. We can see、uh, the low a、uh, uh, low cost access to customers. So the Shui Di Chou is actually is the front runner of our、uh, comp of, of our organization, a front unit. And、uh, with、uh, social、uh, media, we would like to encourage our users into our、uh, insurance initiative. We、uh, this initiative provides、uh, some basic uh, products. Uh, uh, on in this system, we can improve the interaction among、um, policy members. Another aspect, we can also through this、uh, basic、uh, education to guarantee the. Uh, coverage of the insurance, and、uh, additionally, we can expand this、uh, to the commercial insurance. So we launched the platform for two months, and the premium already exceeded 700 million RM yuan, top two. Right after Ali, we established the company in May 2016. After three years. In 2016 and 2017, we had、uh, two new products、uh, being launched.、Uh, currently, we finished、uh, two billion financing rounds, uh, uh, financing, and、uh, our investors, including Baiyan Capital, Blue Run Ventures, Sinovation、uh, Ventures, CICC Capital. As I mentioned, we have this、uh, online dissemination channel. From one to n to n, 
we also established the service platform. And uh, nationwide, we have uh, 500 plus uh, uh, promoters for our water job uh, platform, and uh, they are working um, at different uh, localities in the hospitals to promote um, our product. And uh, this year, we are going to enter into the tier one and tier two cities. And uh, through our offline salesperson, we will uh, target uh, the high end white collar people as well. I'm very proud to say that our company is uh, also uh, pay special attention to the uh, CSR cultural. Uh, uh, social resp uh, uh, res corporate social responsibility. Our core competencies is uh, the data um, and also the visitors of our platform. So we resolve the payment, uh, house payment issues uh, for the uh, different types and uh, patients. Uh, and we got a relevant license as well. Thank you, Mr. Yang Guang. The commentators, please. The water drop is a very innovative model. What I care more is uh, from the initial platform and to the mutual help uh, and mutual assistance platform to the final water drop uh, insurance. Uh, tell us about the involvement. Second, how can you guarantee the credibility? Because after all, it's uh, the donation from the mass and, and from the public. To be honest, uh, at the initial stage, we wanted to make some breakthrough for online insurance. But we are starting from uh, scratch. We didn't have the license, we didn't have enough uh, threshold visitors, and also we need to do the risk mitigation. So as a result, uh, we believe that uh, the first step is the uh, visitors uh, on the platform. And uh, the, uh, to do so, we need to um, like uh, educate uh, the general public for the health insurance. It's very difficult to uh, enlighten or encourage uh, the public uh, to uh, purchase the insurance uh, uh, for health. Because we all know the uh, finance uh, and also the accident-related accident insurance are uh, relatively easier to promote. But for the health uh, insurance, uh, uh, we believe that uh, that is, um, their uh, friends or family members, if they were suffering the major diseases, uh, this uh, uh, would uh, lead to the uh, um, uh, public to uh, build up their awareness uh, of the necessities to purchase their house uh, insurance. That's the reason uh, we have this uh, platform established. If they have the relatives and the family members uh, suffered from major di uh, diseases, they can get these uh, uh, donations online. And uh, gradually, we uh, uh, promote the mutual assistance comparing to the insurance. Uh, uh, the premium of uh, mutual assistance is uh, uh, relatively lower, and the coverage is um, uh, larger. Through this uh, uh, mutual assistance platform, uh, we educate the general public. And through this mutual assistance, uh, based on the local communities, uh, then they would have more like interactive process. And in the end, we can have uh, the insurance uh, uh, products uh, uh, established. Offline, as I mentioned, we have a full time uh, 500 persons uh, as our promoters and sales force. They focus uh, on the uh, major disease uh, uh, patients, uh, 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 and they also establish a kind of a uh, um, uh, working relationship um, in the hospitals. Sorry, time is up. Uh, Miss Xu, first uh, congratulate uh, uh, Water Drop uh, for your. Uh, mobilization of the uh, capital ventures. Um, 
In the future, how could you balance the short-term and the long-term insurance? Now you have uh, many like uh, mutual assistance, uh, but it's not uh, easy to convert directly to the long-term uh, health insurance scheme. I noticed that you are uh, applying the reinsurance uh, license in the future. Uh, uh, what's uh, the focus of your company? We got uh, many visitors on our platform, and, and uh, we focus, therefore, more on the short-term insurance scheme. But for those uh, patients already had the short-term. to purchase the insurance, long-term insurance online. Uh, this is a very reason, as I mentioned, we hire offline 500 uh, uh, sales force. Uh, to, uh, we already got uh, this data for the uh, visitors, uh, and they had a short-term uh, uh, insurance uh, scheme. And uh, for the reinsurance uh, license, yes, we are in the process of uh, making applications. Uh, um, and uh, in the future, we are going to help our uh, customers uh, uh, to do, including the insurance companies, uh, for analyzing the uh, data from the users and provide the services uh, and to provide the better quality uh, services to them. Zhuwei, my question is related to this, uh, Ms. Xu Wei's. You were talking about mutual assistance, but those actually are the underserved population from the commercial insurance scheme. And uh, in the end, uh, you ha still have to convert to the commercial insurance. So after this conversion, can how can you be sure your users uh, still be active my second question is, uh, in China, if you have the platform, you have uh, many visitors and uh, clicks on your uh, website, you would expand your business scope, and then you would dilute uh, your business. Uh, and how could you guarantee uh, the uh, momentum of the visitors? Our platform is different. Uh, after the donation is being made, or after the patient received this uh, uh, donation, um, and uh, uh, what they get uh, is uh, the overall health guarantee. So we keep a uh, high frequency interaction uh, with the users. We also educate them and try to raise their awareness on the uh, importance of uh, purchasing uh, insurance. But we would uh, not uh, force them to purchase the insurance, and they have the uh, uh, free choice. Uh, so it's a kind of health uh, guarantee, education, and the insurance being combined. Sorry, uh, time is up. Next, uh, uh, from uh, uh, Mr. Zhang Peng from uh, Yu Commune. Distinguished three judges, I'm from Yu Commune. I'm very glad, uh, fortunate to provide me this opportunity to brief you about uh, our company. Uh, the founder of our company used to work in Vanki Group, Mao Da Qing. Our mission is uh, through smart uh, office uh, space uh, to help uh, more as uh, small and uh, micro companies and to increase their um, uh, productivities and efficiencies. So at the very initial stage, we received a lot of uh, support from uh, Gen Fund and other uh, Secor uh, uh, Fund. And uh, because we established our company in 2015, we received a lot of uh, favorable policies as well. In the past four years, we cover almost all major cities uh, nationwide. We uh, enjoyed a fully uh, government uh, uh, preferential like policies. Um, in 2017, we started our uh, going global strategies, uh, including uh, United States, uh, Southeast Asian countries, uh, and uh, uh, um, Hong Kong and Macau. 
in 2018, we made some M and A and acquired some uh, uh, regional companies. Uh, uh, after M and A and going global, we covered uh, 44 cities domestically, uh, almost uh, all like tier one, tier two, uh, and also representative tier three like Xiong'an, Lhasa, uh, Xiangyang. At the end of 2017, we uh, want a uh, global. Uh, the uh, we wanted uh, to uh, provide the facilitation for the companies uh, to be easier to settle down in overseas uh, countries. Uh, we also uh, want to attract uh, the local uh, companies who want to expand their business into mainland China. So, link China go global is our strategy. We had a very uh, good uh, spatial distribution, and uh, then we would provide them uh, value-added services. So we cannot start uh, without talking about space. We need uh, to uh, improve our spatial products. You can see uh, U commune. We call this is uh, a kind of a maker space. And uh, we had uh, more than 1,000 uh, companies, uh, this uh, ecosystems. Uh, uh, we also uh, uh, cultivate a 2B service uh, atmosphere and uh, ecosystems. We also try to facilitate uh, the uh, community exchanges. Through this process, uh, we put together our resources more and more brand, uh, paying attention to our uh, EU commune, and they wanted uh, us to provide services to them as well. Our positioning is uh, the startup companies. Uh, because of uh, the country's development, uh, the micro and the small companies uh, are of vital importance, uh, so we wanted to provide services to these uh, small and micro companies. Uh, thank you. You uh, commu is the first uh, uh, such company in the industries uh, for the maker space. Uh, during your involvement, what is your core business model? Operation? Uh, Wise, uh, how can you guarantee the healthy development? Uh, yes, uh, we had some uh, bottleneck problems. Uh, uh, the threshold, uh, you, Q, uh, commune, um, the size, the scale. In the past, uh, we use uh, uh, merger and acquisition, and uh, a lot of uh, representative brands. Uh, because why those companies wanted to be acquired by us, uh, they couldn't achieve a uh, scale of economy. This is also the threshold uh, in China. For the business model, uh, um, we believe that uh, we should, uh, uh, we believe that we are the like uh, re lender. Uh, you know, uh, uh, we, um, we need a, a tenant. Uh, you know, we are not the owner of the apartment and the houses, uh, but what uh, we can offer is uh, added value services. We have uh, more than 200,000 uh, users, uh, and what we can provide is the added value to them. It's nothing to be shameful. I think uh, everybody is interested in this WeWork topic, uh, sharing space, uh, office space, uh, but the whole business model being challenged. Uh, this is a very uh, good innovation. But under this uh, uh, national economic downturn uh, trend, uh, you would have uh, many loss of tenants, uh, uh, and uh, how can you cope with the challenges? Uh, um, because uh, we have uh, uh, 40 million uh, small and uh, micro level companies. Uh, according to statistics, uh, each year we have uh, 10,000 micro companies adding each day. 
you know, uh, during the peak year, uh, even uh, forty thousand uh, uh, micro companies added each day in China. Indeed, uh, you mentioned that economically um, we are on the downward trend, um, but. Uh, because of this, uh, the even SOEs and the large scale companies, uh, they want to reduce their office cost, so they would uh, consider this uh, uh, we work um, modality as well. The first half of this year. Uh, I chatted with uh, Da Qing uh, when we have a dinner together with uh, then uh, Secretary General Pan Ki Moon. We said, uh, "How could you defi define yourself? Uh, because after all, you are uh, just uh, rent out uh, the apartment, uh, and uh, can you call yourself uh, the technology company?" And uh, you told me during the dinner, you said uh, you all have uh, the IoT and the cloud-based services, and you have a uh, 50 plus to uh, be software partners. After this kind of initial deployment, you are. Are you, what's your uh, profit margins coming from? Uh, whether it's uh, by providing hardware and uh, software, the rent fee, or from other business models, we tried out the different types of uh, 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 like uh, profit models. Uh, in China, after all, it's a young uh, industry. You know, three to four years. Uh, so our fundamental key pillar is uh, to make uh, our space uh, more reasonable. Uh, spatial is very important. Uh, um, on top of the software, hardware, we did some uh, education-related business. Uh, in the interest of time, I cannot elaborate. We also had some uh, memberships. Uh, memberships. Uh, for this, uh, uh, we would uh, also uh, like export uh, our uh, like uh, put together resources to the local industrial parks, uh, local government, because uh, uh, we rally together a lot of uh, good and uh, small and uh, micro companies, and then we would uh, export these services in a package to the uh, local government and um, local parks, industrial parks. We have some time left. Any follow-up questions? Do you have additional points from John Peng? Okay. Thank you for the three contestants. Please, uh, it's the voting time. Please pick up the voting device on your desk. Press one for we read. Press two for water drop. Press three for you commune. Get ready, everyone. Please vote now. <laughs> 